Before we go into details on different performance evaluation metrics that are commonly used, we will first talk a bit about some general evaluation aspects that are independent of the task setting. We will give a very brief overview on efficiency, robustness, scalability, explainability, and fairness of a machine learning model. To start things off, we will talk about efficiency. Now, efficiency can be an important factor in some cases, but in other it might not be as important. We will look at it from two different angles, training time and inference time. Training time is the time it takes you to let your model find good patterns in the training dataset. Depending on the choice of algorithm and strategies for finding good model parameters, this can be rather slow or quite fast. Also, of course, this varies depending on the hardware you're using as a stronger PC or a server setup generally also has faster training time for your models. Efficient training time can be very important when your model is retrained often after it has been deployed, or when its training takes a very, very long time in general. But not only does a faster training time speed up the development of your model, it can potentially also save quite a lot of energy if you use a more efficient model, which is an important topic to mention nowadays. If this sparks some of your interest, you can, as an example, look into green AI. As for inference time, this is the time it takes your model to compute predictions of any kind. So this does not take the training time into account, but only the moments you're using your model for the intended task. This, however, also depends on the task to solve. A faster inference time, obviously, is very important when it comes to self-driving cars and voice assistants, but it can also make quite some difference for recommender systems and navigation. On the other hand, if your task is to generate new molecules, you might not care that much about inference time if you can get higher performance with a model that is a bit slower. In a similar context, we can look at robustness and scalability. Robustness of machine learning algorithm is its ability to perform well with respect to different sets of training data. Some datasets might contain a lot of unwanted noise, which then make the model have less performance. The more robust your algorithm is, however, the less you will notice the impact of having different quality of data. This does not mean, though, that quality does not matter. In the end, a robust model will still not be able to learn much with very poor data quality. Scalability is the ability to deal with increasing amounts of data in an efficient way. Oftentimes, models are trained on a smaller set of data for proof of concepts, initial results, or other reasons. As more data quite often also means that your model can potentially learn better, we want algorithms to be able to work well on smaller datasets, but also on very, very big data. This ties in with the previously mentioned efficiency. Not everything is about being fast, though. Interpretability and explainability are terms which are used to describe how well a model can be understood by humans. As an example, imagine a very simple model predicting your occupation that works using only yes and no questions. If this model makes a prediction about your occupation, then it can be easily investigated as to why it made that specific prediction. On the other hand, if you look at a very complex mathematical function, that just takes some input numbers and computes the output, you will have a hard time to explain why the model thinks you're an astronaut. Explainability of machine learning models is a very big and active research area, also known as XAI. Therefore, we will keep it rather brief for this video, considering it as a means that gives us an idea of how well a model can be understood by humans. This is especially important as machine learning is being used in many areas of our day-to-day -day life and many legal issues arise. Lawyers and legal departments then often set the requirement for the model to be explainable as they need to investigate what happened in case of any failures, car accidents for example. Another set of metrics that has been on the rise over the past years is fairness and bias. First, however, it is important to note that bias in this context is different to the bias term that we have covered in the previous model. Okay, let's continue. You might have already heard plenty of stories about machine learning models that are racist or tend to perform worse for a specific gender. This is where fairness and bias come into place. With bias, we want to measure whether a model is influenced by a specific attribute that we do not want to have an influence on the prediction. For example, having gender information influence the outcome of our job recommendations. With fairness, we then look from different angles at our model to see whether or not it performs better or worse for specific groups. In our gender example, this could mean that the model achieves better performance for male users of a recommender system or that it is more likely to predict men to commit a crime. There are many other aspects that we could look into, thinking about impact on society or the environment, but this video should give you a brief overview of some of the more popular aspects people like to look at. That being said, those aspects can be used for any type of machine learning algorithm. In a few videos, we will learn about some more specific metrics that are dependent on the given task setting.